Hey there, Cedric here. This is a wagon from Tony DeFiglio at Buddy Products in Sandusky. Uh, the Sandusky Company. He's with Buddy Products. He's the big dog over there. And my email about the about the wagon that I got before. You remember I ordered a wagon? I got it. And what it turned out, it was a mix-up that it was mostly Home Depot's fault. I ended up with some kind of a return, a used return that is sat out and just it was a miserable wreck. It was a mix-up and Mr. Tony DeFiglio over in Chicago felt bad and look what he sent. So I'm gonna put this sucker together. Now look, this is look at the difference how this is packaged as opposed to how that, that last one, how things were just so busted up and everything and you know he, he called me, he took the time and called me himself and everything. So look at that, y'all. What a nice surprise, huh? So I'm going to put this together, and we'll, we'll see what she looks like. I can't really hold the camera and put it together, so I'm not going to do a video like that. But maybe I'll bring you along for stages. It's a fairly simple build, and I just wanted to show you that... Um, Buddy Products and Sandusky, they they do you right. They take care of you. you. Look at that. That is not how they how they do business. That's what he told me, and he was right. That that was a mix up. And I'm going to tell you, do not order your stuff from a place that don't take care of you. You find a place like this. And that was Home Depot's mix up. So there we go. And we're about to put this together. See you in a bit. All right, so here we got the Sandusky Lee Garden Cart. And um, this is DeFiglio. He asked me for an honest review. So we're going to talk about the good and the bad. So far, it pulls real smoothly. But it doesn't match up that well. And we, ha we lost a pin right off the bat. We lost a pin for the, the side gate. I'll have to try and spot it on the way back. We just loaded Luke up. He makes it as far as he can every morning. This morning he didn't make it very far at all. Uh, so we load him up, let him rest up, and then he'll get to lay on the grass further on down the line. So we're gonna we're gonna cruise on down the line. And once I get this up on the concrete, my wife has actually agreed to climb into the cart and give us a dog's eye view of the proceedings. Come on, Jim. Come on, girl.
you're going on any kind of downhill, you want that handle braced. It'll just get away from you. I braced it under my buttock. I'm just trying to use my own weight to drive it back. Okay, dog's eye view is over. And now you get to see it from out there. Get ahead of us and get no further. jogging the whole way, but for the sake of this documentary, we're moving at slow speed. And it's this big old party pad, so like, I don't know. Go on the grass for Jenny dog. It's easier for me on the concrete, but for Jenny, if she's getting older, you know. Gotta watch out for landmines.
Stop, stop, come on. You know better. That's it, you're on the short loop now. No more freedom. She's a little thrown off because we used to run. This way he gets to get out here, and the more he can move, the more muscle tone he keeps, and the less pain he has, the longer he'll live. You can see how that just twists really bad. When I tried driving them to the park before like, the wagon idea, he can't go far from the car if his leg seizes up, but now he can move as much as Cedric here. I'm going to do just a quick little kind of little point by point comparison and you can go look at the, the pictures and video that I took of that Blue Hawk so you'll have a frame of reference. Um, now again like I said before a little bit earlier this wagon is not going to hold up under the, the going with Luke. It's going to hold up a heck of a lot better than that Blue Hawk design and all of these uh, Sandusky wagons are designed the, the, the same way as this one with the, the steering, the struts. So, you know, uh, you're not going to get this much wagon for $239 anywhere else, you know. So, let's go ahead and just check it out here real quick. I'm going to give you a look underneath. You can see you've got the support going to the steering right there. And then back here you've got double supports going to the rear. Now on the uh, on the Blue Hawk wagon, it just had the upright with no no diagonal support at all. Really poor design. You got 12-inch uh, 
12 inch wheels here, 12 by uh, 5. You got your side rails with the pins. Now you buy one of these, I'm going to recommend that you wire it right here. Because I had one work its way loose just right off the bat before I put the boy in. I'm going to fix it with some Kevlar cord. Um, here it, it pulls really, really smoothly. Pulls really smoothly. But here you can already see that we're getting because of the this is an odd pull this isn't like being towed by your ATV or whatever they call them all right this is uh, when I'm jogging and moving like that it's a lot of little impacts on the mechanism so it would end up uh, it would end up crumpling over time and leaving us stranded that's why uh, why I did the fundraiser that I did and ordered the uh, the deal that I did because I just can't get stranded with him again when I had to when I had to carry that boy as a half mile towing that that broken wagon with Jenny's leash stuck in my pocket it was a rough day I was pretty worried and when he stopped eating man I just, I just couldn't do it I can't do that again can't go through it um, I'm gonna tell you just hands down if you're interested in getting yourself a wagon then check out the check out the Sandusky line for just your general garden wagons um, there's just nothing else else that even competes in that price range uh, it, it this held up already much better than the Blue Hawk the Blue Hawk that weld on the front axle assembly broke the first day cracked the first day so this is already. You can see you got two points here where the uh, where the linkage for the the handle goes to the steering. You've got a really tight turning radius too. You've got a really good tight turning radius, and it, it keeps you a little more stability than than some of the uh, some of those fifth wheel designs for if you're going to be bearing heavy load and making tight turns. So, all in all, I'm going to give this a thumbs up. This is a really good design. The Sandusky Lee Garden Cart CW6031, I believe. Uh, you can find this on Amazon. You order it through Amazon, and uh, you get that protection when you order through Amazon. You all know that when it's offered by Amazon. If shipping, um, you know, if like UPS dumps your package all over the place, beats it up like they've done to some of mine, then uh, Amazon will take care of you. I'm probably going to recommend not buying through Home Depot because of the trouble I had with refunding. Um, try your Amazon. They carry the whole line of Sandusky carts. So there it is. And I got to shut her down now. And we're going to head back because it warms up fast in the desert. So you live free, punch hard, be good to yourselves, because you're worth it. And thank you, Tony DeFiglio, for the thought, man. I appreciate you. y'all just wanted to bring you back for the last little look um we're at the park and 
I kind of needed to hurry up because my wife wanted to get home. She's not used to, to going with us in the morning and everything. And kind of wore her out a little bit. So, just wanted to bring you back. Um, you see you got the pins holding the side gates. It's the uh, same as on all models. And on any kind of wagon that you get, I'm going to recommend that you glue or wire those. Um, right here at this point, if you're going to leave them in, or at least have something, even a rubber band, um, put around this part right here so they can't work their way loose from jiggling. And I actually managed to go back and find the pen. I had repaired it with a piece of Kevlar wrapped in duct tape to keep the Kevlar from braiding itself. So I'm going to go ahead and just slide this back in. And be happy that I managed to find that. It was along the a desert portion of the trail there. So got that back in. Um, again, when I'm jogging, it impacts the steering like like a series of hits. Pop, 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 pop. And that uh, that's not the same as, as a regular usage of this wagon. And it's just uh, not going to hold up under that. It's not going to hold up under the, the beating. Um, so, this is good, good wagon for your, your regular garden purposes, your farm, all that stuff. You've got a good, good steering linkage, all that. Now, before I put this together, I oiled in between the metal parts because I believe in taking care of stuff, you know, so whoever's going to get this. Um, now, Mr. Tony DeFiglio, he said, you know, when he sent this to me, he said, I, I want you to have this no matter what, no matter what you're going to do with it. He said, uh, you know, whatever you want to do with it. So I don't think it would be appropriate for me to, to sell this because it was given to me. I finally managed to get my refund from Home Depot. Um, actually, I had to file a claim with PayPal because Home Depot just, I don't know. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. So, what I thought that I should do in the spirit that this was given, I've given an honest review. I've showed you that this can, hand, this can hold up under circumstances that would destroy the Blue Hawk. Um, you know, it took this across some, some pretty rough terrain and doubled the load. Right, my wife and my dog. So this really, uh, really holds up well. It's got a lot of, a lot of supports under there for that long bed and and like that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna donate this. I'm gonna load this up in my car right now. Then I'm gonna go back upstairs, make some coffee, do a little research, make a couple phone calls, and we're gonna drive this somewhere. And I'll take the camera so that uh, you all and Mr. Tony D, Tony DeFiglio at Buddy Products can see where this wagon goes. Because uh, as you all know, I ordered, uh, I did a little fundraiser and ordered a little giant wagon so that I'll have something that, uh, you know, just no matter what, it's not going not gonna to leave, uh, leave me with my boy there. So I'm, I'm pretty pretty worried about that, pretty concerned. Now, if you've ever pulled one of those, um, the normal range of the, the smaller wagons is about 70 pounds. The Blue Hawk is around in that area. Now, this wagon weighs 125 pounds, and it pulls as smoothly as that Blue Hawk. Um, moves really well. I didn't have any problems on any of the terrain or angles. I didn't have any problems with it feeling like it was going to tip. Um, all in all, this is a really good wagon. So whoever gets this can be real lucky. We're going to make some phone calls and see if any uh, any animal shelters like that could use it for, you know, hauling uh, hauling feed around or, you know, for for anything. You have animal shelters, you know, there's a wolf sanctuary down in Scottsdale. My wife's been wanting to go. Maybe maybe they can use it, huh? Wouldn't that be cool? So we're going to figure that out. I just want to bring you back out for that little, you know, 
a little bit more there. And now, real quick, I just want to show you one thing. This, all right, you see this? I'm going to show you what this is all about. This is how you're going to tow this with your uh, with your ATV. You know, like if you want to make this tow, then what you're going to do is undo down here, okay, and turn the metal tubing inside the uh, this poly fitting, and then replace that that bolt, and this will then be angled to fit on your little tow deal. So that's pretty, pretty slick, right? Let me just get this back in here. So, pretty simple, pretty easy little conversion, and that's pretty, pretty handy for for folks. You know, I don't, I don't know. You know, if you're going to be working around a larger area, a larger property like that, then it's handy to have that option. get that in there. I don't know why I'm still still got you guys here for this. It's ridiculous, huh? Alright. I'll put that back in after I get off the, the horn here with you. Um thank y'all for coming by. I appreciate you for, for scoping out the video. And thank you again for thinking of us, Mr. Tony Dean for 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 um you know just, just being so invested in the reputation, your company, your products like that. Um Hey, shipping wasn't your fault, man. Whatever that deal was, how do you do? So, I appreciate you doing this. And Lukey enjoyed the ride. Little, uh, little tied him over till, till his, uh, his permanent wagon gets here. So, y'all take care of yourselves, okay? Be good to yourselves. You hold your heads up high. You live free punch hard.